Are y'all seeing this right now? Are y'all seeing the same thing I'm seeing right now? What the what 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 the fuck is this, son? What is this? Anybody who knows me knows I rock with Tyler Perry movies from Medea's Big Happy Family to Why Did I Get Married. I rock with Tyler Perry movies down to the core, but I cannot support this shit. What in the actual fuck am I looking at right now? Now I don't know if I'm just not understanding this correctly, but isn't Medea supposed to be like a 70 to 80 year old woman? How the fuck is she fertile to be giving birth? Like, who the fuck you know is 80 years old pushing out babies? Like, at what point do you just lose all integrity for the content of your creation? And you're just willing to push out whatever the fuck you feel like it because you know it's going to make some quick money. Like, this is so fucking frustrating just looking at this shit because obviously tyler perry don't give a fuck anymore number one because a middle-aged man in the dress is going to be giving birth to a child but two i looked at some of the articles for this shit this is a sequel to tyler perry's worst fucking film he's ever done it took six days to make this movie six days it's taking me longer to analyze how shitty the movie is than fucking six days talking about on average it takes six months to make a movie sometimes it even takes a year or multiple years the fact that they made a hour and 44 minute movie in six days Obviously, they didn't put the fucking best effort into this shit. This shit is fucking garbage. Oh, fuck ass. No, I'm not about to let this shit slide. I'm on that ass. Tyler Perry, you thought you were safe, but I'm on that ass. Everything in the Medea's Halloween was pure trash. From the fucking storyline itself to the fucking actors. Lord, the actors are with the worst fucking part of this damn movie. How in the fuck, if you make a movie, is your main protagonist is one of the worst actors in your whole fucking cast and crew. I was telling them this story about how the house is haunted. Oh, you should have seen their eyes. They were like scared. They were like scared. Every single scene that she was in, I literally had to force convince myself that she was part of a major film and not a fucking middle school production of The Lion King because her acting was that fucking unconvincing. A day, it's Tiffany. <sighs> I've been calling you. I've been texting you for almost half an hour now. I don't know what to do. Where are you? Please, please get back to me. Call me back, please. Every time she opened her mouth, it seemed like she was projecting to an audience of three-year-olds. Well, I'm sorry that my dad is so lame. It's gonna take a lot more than that to get him to leave you alone. I said she was one of the worst because there was somebody in the... Who the fuck? First of all, she has never been in any of the fucking Tyler Perry film. At least any of them I've seen. She's never been in the motherfuckers. And I was so fucking heated that I had to sit through a fucking minute and 30 and listen to her voice. Her voice sign is so fucking annoying. Oh my, oh my God. One of the main fucking characters too. Listen to this voice and tell me that you can stand through a whole fucking 90 minutes listening to this in your fucking eardrums. Hey, he a grown ass man, he can take it. Well that's the problem right there. Yes. But you don't know why she come back. She could just hear the cop don't body. She could have come in any day. I can't call them neither, ma. They know my boys too. She said she pissed up here. You know she said she pissed up here. It's a wisdom. Please leave me alone, Mr. Wisdom. Can't stand this woman in every single like her voice is annoying the little gestures that she does and the cutscenes is annoying like tyler tyler perry what were you thinking what were you thinking it's like you paid for a high-end production film but got play quality material like the shit is the shit is whack i, I expected better from you keep having to bring up the fact that it's supposed to be a high-end production film because not only are the actors trash but just like all the little things are trash too. Like, like, peep this sound effect and tell me that this shit ain't childish as hell. <laughs> like, I understand it's a comedy, but like, goddamn Tyler, step your shit up. This is fucking embarrassing. Lighting in the scenes was trash. Some of the scenes, the lighting outside was better than it was inside. Like, the fucking moon gave better light than some of the Walmart flashlights they used. Another thing I noticed is that even the jokes weren't really up to Tyler Perry's standards. Like, let me let me explain. Anybody who's seen a Medea movie knows that in the Medea movies, Tyler Perry likes to pick fun at black stereotypes. And by doing so, this makes the joke 
relatable in a sense. You might not be able to fully relate to the joke, but you can see where the joke is coming from. That's why it's not only, f like, black people are not the only people that can enjoy a Tyler Perry film. Like, if you understand where he's coming at with the jokes, then it's funny. But it just seems like he's trying too hard in this film. Like, this scene, this scene is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Basically, Tyler Perry, who's like the father of the protagonist, he's talking with his mom and his dad about how he doesn't beat his kid and how they used to beat him when he was little. Like I did you, I gave you lots of love taps. L what? Hold on a second. I was on life support. Are you are you blaming that on me? That is not my fault. How, 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 what do I have to do with you being on life support? Am I missing something? I was four years old. Whose fault was it? Just go on up them stairs and do what I had to do to you that day that you got mad. I am not taking my daughter on the roof and throwing her off. And it's just so blown out of proportion that it, it's not it's not relatable anymore and then it's not funny like there's no way that you can relate to your mom sending you to the er at the age of four because you talked back to her or your dad kicking you over the edge of a rooftop at the age of 16 because you like gave him attitude or something like it's like he's trying so hard with the joke and he just blew it so far out of proportion that it's just corny now the one thing i will give tyler perry that song at the beginning of the movie was tough as shit. I can't even hold him for that. That song was tough as fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the little schmoop summary of this movie right here. There's a party, the girl wants to go, the dad won't let her go, she goes anyways, disrespects her father, Medea tries to save the day, Medea pisses off some people, people piss off Medea, they go to church, Medea beats the hell out of someone, and then at the end of the day, Medea wins. In some way, shape, form, or another, that's basically the formula to a Medea film. And normally, I don't got a problem with that. But this one, the fact that I've been talking about it for this long is just like fucking ridiculous because of how trash this movie was. But this shit, this shit just pissed me off. So to this cheap, cheap bastard, here's what you need to do, all right? You need to just make one more movie. You need to make one movie where it just talks about all about Medea. It just goes from like her childhood to like up until now and then at the end of the movie she dies okay you need to kill this character because you're running out of fucking ideas all right this movie was trash when this protection program was trash hell you can make the argument that every single movie is trash but at least the other movies it had some type of comic relief like it was something that nobody had seen before and you was doing something with it you you hold on tyler you was actually on to something now it's just like what the fuck what the fuck am i pe I didn't pay money for this. I use my fucking bootleg site. But what are, what are people paying money for? You robbing the people that supporting you. How y'all go from Kiki to Bojack Horseman? How y'all gonna take away Bow Wow but give us Fousey and the rest of Boys 12? How y'all gonna take away Lauren London and leave us with Opera and Jesus? And how dare y'all leave us with... I can't go to me no more! Fucking trash ass. If I was a movie critic and I had to rate this shit, I'd give this shit a zero out of five. Boo! But since the light-skinned girl was bad as shit, I'ma give it a one out of five.